Pep, we saw you deep in conversation with Adama at the end of the game. With? With Adama Traore. Oh, yeah. At the end, I just wondered what, what you were saying to him. We thanking him for missing those chances? or? Yeah, I said, well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. You obviously know him from uh, Barcelona. Listen, when, since Adama, I, I know him when playing Barcelona when I was in the academy. And after I went to Middlesbrough and after I went to, to, to Wolves and, uh, with Nuno and, and after I went to Barcelona and after I came back here, it's an incredible threat, this guy. This guy, when he took the ball, forget about it. He looked around with our fastest player, Kyle, so we beat him. So he's unstoppable with a speaker space. It's so, so difficult to control. And he's a lovely guy, a lovely guy. And I think Marco helps us to make an, this step up and, and he's doing and playing at his best level. So I didn't surprise at all how good Fulham it is and how good they play and how tough and resistant, resilient we were to, to go through that game. It's a Martin, please, Paul. Hi, Pep. You, you had to fight to keep hold of uh, Edison in the summer. You know, there was all the talk about Saudi Arabia. Is it, was that today? Was that, was that, did you show why you fought so hard to keep him? I said many times, how many years we are together? Eight years with Eddie? The success that we had without him, I, don't, I cannot visualize. I cannot. So to me, to, they make a, a true incredible save. I think Stefan is, I think for me, the one the best plays I've ever seen, the one against one, is kind of actual. I think working with him, I'm pretty sure that Eddie get it. Of course, we have with Xavi and Richard. This is an unbelievable coach, trainer coaches, uh, the keepers, and and making incredible seven important moments of the game. Yeah, yeah, de definitely it is. So, and at the end, the big the big keepers have to save. You know these kind of actions. So when the Champions League, I remember in the certain moments, Eddie save it. And when they didn't save you, we could not go through. So at the moment, the keepers have to, to make these kind of actions to win games. Sam? Pat, was there any concern for you in the summer that Edison might leave? Yeah, of course. It's an important figure with our team, Scott. And of course, but you know, at the end, it didn't happen. We are lucky to have him. Hopefully, he's happy. And he knows you have to prepare because you never know what's going to happen, you know, for uh, the players want to leave or so on. So. We should have moved forward, that's for sure. But so Eddie knows us really, really well what you have to do. Dave in the back corner, please, Paul. One more on Edison. What, what kind of conversations did you have with him over the summer that convinced him to stay? Was there any dialogue between the, the, the two of you? No, he, he, he knew from the one I didn't want it, we didn't want it. But the truth, I'm going to tell the truth, the, the offer didn't come. The real offer, because they make an offer, but to be for the keeper, for the team who won four Premier Leagues and in a row have a, a value, you know, have a, a price. Otherwise, it cannot leave. But if the offer can be gone, maybe we should not be here. So this is the truth. Because sometimes when there's interest, interest like that, a player's head can be turned and the, the focus can go, but that's not been the case at all, has it, with Edison? Edison is so strong, can be an idea, but that's when one change the mind in one second and say, OK, I'm here, I'm going to do our best. And of course, Edison is an important player, and, but always I had the feeling that Stefan is an exceptional player, and sometimes Edison has to have the feeling that he has to play, perform well, otherwise Stefan can play. And this competition, the healthy competition they have because they respect and they, they have an incredible relation, make our team better. Finish with Jack, please, guys. If you go back to the um, defensive record, I, I understand you sort of give credit to, to the opposition, but is it, have you had a look at why you are conceding an unusual amount of goals under, under yourself? Is it individual mistakes or structurally? No. Maybe structurally, yeah. Maybe we create more, we can see more. Maybe have international break to reflect. I'm going to see games, but uh, um, except the last 10, 15 minutes, it was, a, you know, for example, the first action from Adama Traore, one against one, is Rico is a long ball and he's in front of him, you know, and after he anticipated him. Of course, when that's happened, it's a mistake, you know, you have to be better than that, you know, in these kind of situations. and. Yeah, we are a team more used to, to play than the focus in these kind of things, but yeah, you're right. So 
you score goals, then you have to try to, yeah, to be better. You have margin to improve. You're right. I think it's so easy to to say this analysis. You know that with Rodri we draw two games and without him we won all the games. So this season, so it's a. I, I never because if if this one player all the time make a mistake, a mistake, a mistake, in this game isn't going to play. It's simple. Have a business. You have to perform well. That is not the case. Maybe I have to reflect the goals. How see normally are in transition and set pieces because without Rodri we lose this power. You know, because he's another guy who is so strong in this position. But we have to, yeah, we have to live. We have to live with, without him and 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 see we can do better with the ball. And yeah, we, we will talk. We will see. We will reflect about what 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 miss. You know, to be more consistent. Thank you, guys. Okay. Have a lovely night. <laughs>